right now that I'm all set up, let me show you around. Looks very similar to Raccoon Creek State Park, which is a modern cabin. I'll show you the three books I got to read here right off. So a little comic fiction. If you're familiar with Christopher Moore, you know what shenanigans he's up to. Aristotle, which I've started about halfway through. And then I thought I'd really like to get into uh, reading some more of Jack London's short stories. I got into him when I was younger, him and Jack Kerouac. Haven't read them for a while. Um, certainly check out To Build a Fire and Call of the Wild if you haven't. Those are his most popular stories and well worth reading. Anyway, that's the lounge area. Got the kitchen table here. It's fitted out with water, electric, of course the refrigerator. Here's what we got going for this three day, three night trip. Veggies, apples, pasta, steelhead trout, beef, some accoutrement, and that's what's in the cupboard. Show you the bedroom, but basically, that's where I'll be sleeping. The next three nights, uh, I sprung for the modern cabins as opposed to the cottages because my wife was hoping to come, but she just couldn't arrange it with work and she wasn't feeling that good. So I'm on my own again and she will only come if there is a working bathroom. So yet again, I got a working bathroom. Say hi to the people. Hi. And if you had a couple of kitties, you could Put them in the guest room there. All right, guys, I'm going to sit down, um, unwind, get all my stuff in, and then I'm going to walk out. Uh, I got the kayak in the van, you can see, with some firewood, and just down the way is the lake. You can't quite see it, but I'm going to take a walk around the lake. I'll take you guys with me. So that was either a loom or a diving duck, I'm not sure which. So I just confirmed this was built by the CCC. Apparently they had trouble, they had to drain it once. You can see our beaver buddy has been here. Ooh, he chewed that off. You see his teeth marks? I guess he wants that for his lodge. Let's walk across the old beaver dam. See if we can see any popping up. I know you won't be able to make it out on camera, but there's a muskrat. No, that's a beaver. That's a beaver. I just saw his tail. Here's some of his handiwork right here. See him gnawing off the sticks for his dam. Mud and sticks. Don't tell me that thing doesn't reason, doesn't think. So I've just come to a crossroads here. I can go left or right and extend the loop. So you can get about four miles in here. So obviously I'm going the long way. I just talked to a uh, park ranger. Always talk to the park rangers, guys, if you're new at a park. I've never met a grumpy one. And this this lady had purple hair, and the purple hair lady told me this was her favorite trail. So I figured she couldn't be wrong. And I can see why already. It's gorgeous up here and quiet, which is what I need. I'm calling this my wellness weekend. I need this to recuperate in order to get through the next... You know, busy summer season at work. Onward. I love how quiet it is here. This is what I needed. The mind just gets so busy and loud. I don't know that bird. Anybody know that bird song? Can you imagine? 
imagine just a little Dr. Seuss character has come walking through there. Do, 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 do. Hi, my name's Polly. Oh. Beauty day. Beauty day. Not what I was expecting, but beauty day nonetheless. I can already feel the pressure of all the shit we carry as men and providers and just as people, as individuals working and trying to survive in the world, I can feel that pressure decrease a little bit. The weight of the world, as it were, always on the shoulders of Atlas. So I just got back. My doc said I need to eat more leafy greens. I just got my yearly blood work done. I'm dehydrated and I need to eat more leafy greens to control my cholesterol, wow. because family members have issues with cholesterol. Probably shouldn't be eating this, but it looked good, so we're gonna give it a go. So that's my snack. Looks good, doesn't it? Excuse me while I eat like a pig, but that sauce is good. Creamy with just the right amount of kick. With that cheddar cheese, kiwi, peppers, lettuce, all right, so if this crazy thing works, I will let you guys know and show you how it works tomorrow. But I got it because you're supposed to be able to make good espresso with it. We will see. I'm meant to be pressing this like 20 times, I think. Ooh, baby doll. She is looking good. Let me bring you guys in and show you that. Trips like a bird, doesn't it? Looks good though. I'm spoiled, I like that crim on top. That's that. Basically, if you want an Americano, just gonna add water. You got yourself first class coffee. I'm liking it. I'll show you guys how that works tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, that's much better than steeping it. Still not as good as the machine I have at home, but my wife was a barista, so she did spoil me a little bit with good coffee. But that's better, definitely. We'll see how hard that thing is to clean, because if you're camping, that matters. Oh yeah. All right, it's time to sit down and read. What short story do I want to read here? So listen to this. These are his Arctic stories, which take place up in the tundra. The afternoon wore on, and with the awe born of the white silence, the title of this short story, the voiceless travelers bent to their work. Nature has many tricks wherewith she convinces man of its finity. The ceaseless flow of the tides, the fury of the storm, the shock of the earthquake, the long roll of heaven's artillery. But the most tremendous, the most stupefying of all, is the passive phase of the white silence. All movement ceases, the sky clears, the heavens are as brass. The slightest whisper seems sacrilege, and man becomes timid, affrightened at the sound of his own voice, sole speck of life journeying across the ghostly wastes of a dead world. He trembles at his audacity, realizes that he is a maggot's life, nothing more. Strange thoughts arise unsummoned, and the mystery of all things strives for utterance, and the fear of death, of God, of the universe comes over him. The hope of resurrection and the life, the yearning for immortality, the vain striving of the imprisoned essence. It is then, if ever, man walks alone with God. Look at it, boys. Look at it. All right, taste test time. Nothing doing for seasoning, but a little salt and pepper and olive oil. Look how pink she is, boys. 
try some of the asparagus, huh? Thin young asparagus. Roasted pepper. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Smoky. But the fish, the fish is the winner.